you were set, you say this openly. You're only on about 300 milligrams of testosterone a week. Whereas mm-hmm. some of these, I wish I, I wish I went was four. Yeah, I did try 800. A guy had me try eight, and I felt like shit. So I stayed around four. If I took sus 250, I take one to two mil. Which if it's two mil would be, would be 500. That's if it's 250 mil per yeah. mil you're getting. But you never know. It could be watered down a bit. But I was never a big believer in high doses and. I've got people ready before, and um, when they give me their cycle, I'm like, fuck, I never took that much. They're like, oh, yeah, you're pro. I'm like, no. So I'd half their cycle, get them ready for a show, and they'd still win. They'd be like, wow, I felt great. I look great. They said, yeah, you didn't need all that shit, did you, that you thought you needed? So it's just crazy. People put so much emphasis now on drugs, 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 where to me, they're like the last thing. It's like your training, your nutrition. You're resting and everything else. The drugs are the last thing, but sadly now, it's like putting the cart before the horse. Young kids have never been to the gym. They want to get on the gear. I'm like, why don't you go as far as you can naturally before you need to tap into that? And, you know, 18-year-olds want to take tests. I'm like, why? Your testosterone levels are probably here. If you start injecting it, your natural testosterone is going to drop. So it's just crazy now that you know, I see on pages where the young kids are, Every if I see the word fucking trend one more time, I'm like, <laughs> oh Jesus, it's like it's just crazy. It's like unbelievable. Like I, I, I think I used trend four, five tops. The last time I took it, when I put it in and had that tightness in the chest, and <laughs> I'm like, this can't be good. It's like you know, I used to find I could have a heart attack. My chest got super tight. I couldn't breathe. I'm like, ah. I'm thinking, fuck this. I got a needle sticking in my shoulder. This is how it's going to end on the bathroom floor like this. So. I don't get the obsession oh, we, with we trend. We won't even get into the coffee, the coffee table story. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the cocaine but, um, one, that was fine, though. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the your mother was, she had some really good genetics. And I think there was a yeah. point you said in, in Fuad's show I was listening to where she actually had to take. Um, she stopped taking. And, she stopped taking them. Because normally she had a high level of testosterone naturally like yeah. I did. So she was taking female hormones to keep that down. But yeah. when she started training, she just stopped taking that and developed really quick. And so you guys won the first, like, um, son, mother-son yeah. team in, in the in the world tie, world championship yeah. ever. And um, it, looking back on that, do you, like, obviously you talk a lot about, you know, determining – your own genetic potential before you even mm-hmm. consider touching those PEDs. Um, mm-hmm. Looking looking back on it now and looking at the guys who are taking like over a thousand milligrams a week now, um, people are willing, I think a lot of these guys are willing to die before they get to 30 just so they can get their pro card. And then you, oh, yeah. you talk about the reality of it where some of them are paying like or wasting $20,000 on their PEDs for the comp, and then they don't even win that back. So it's costing yeah. them like 20 grand for a, a yeah, it costs you 20 grand for your cycle. Then you figure yeah. food alone on top of that. Because sadly, which I hate in this country in America, what I always say, kids need this many servings of this or that. Elderly people need some good quality meat. I'm thinking, yeah, but a lot of people can't fucking afford it. You know, mm-hmm. if you're going to eat five or six servings of vegetables and fruit a day and good quality meat and stuff, it's fucking expensive. No wonder why they eat junk food because junk food's cheaper. So the government needs to do something about, you know, I feel when you really look at it and you talk to the, hear the farmers talking, the farmers only get paid shit all for whatever they're given these big companies like Woolworths and that. Then Woolworths jacks the price up to give to us. It's like, how can a punnet of strawberry, I mean, blueberries this big, sometimes go up to $11? I'm like, for blueberries? It's like, okay, they're meant to be good antioxidants, but shit, as, as good a help as they are for me, yeah. what am I going to spend $100 just on blueberries <laughs> to get what I need? So, yeah, it's just the people and these young kids now, it's like, I'll oh, ask some kids, I did a seminar once in England, and over there I was shocked that some young kids were taking anywhere from two to five grams test a week. I'm like, wow, 5,000 milligrams? Like, Where'd you get that? Online. I'm like, Online. So here I am, I'm a pro that's been there and done it. I'm telling you, you don't need that. Always, I've always said, start small. If you're making good gains on two or three hundred, why go to a thousand? Maybe you might go to 350, but these young kids now, they'll start their cycle at a thousand milligrams of this and whatever else. Then the next time they do it, oh, this time I've got to go 1500. I'm like, it doesn't work that way. It's like you take too many vitamins, you piss them out. You take too many drugs, you've only got so many receptor sites that can take them in. So 
So the only one who's going to benefit is the guy you buy it off because he's going to become very rich from you doing that. And like I said, as you said too, they'll spend 20 grand on that. Then they'll spend thousands on food. Then if they've got to travel to the contest, they've got to get hotel, airfare, everything. So it just ends up costing you money. I'm like, you should have just stayed an amateur. Because yeah. like if you become an established pro and you're a good pro, the promoter will pay for your hotel, airfare and stuff like that. If you're good enough, people might give you the key you need. But I said, I used Grow Four Main twice. I never noticed anything from it. So I never used it again. Used it once in 94 and 96. But now I'm 51. I'm thinking, well, maybe growth might be good for me now to help rejuvenate shit. Do you, but... do you think that's been a reason for your longevity? The lack of the use of GH? I think that like that's, that's got a lot to do with the distension that a lot of the yeah. bigger pros have. So I never did insulin either. And I think the combination of those two, when I'm talking about yeah. the distension with insulin and GH and stuff like that, could be. So a lot of guys, like I said, Dex, I believe him, he wasn't a big gear user, nor was Sean Ray, and they kept their waist tight and stuff like that. So... And people go, well, maybe if the guys eat a lot. I like, Fuck, I ate a lot. When I was, like I said, bulked up, my waist was like 48 inches. When I dieted down, it was 29. and never distended. So it had to be something with, like I said, because they reckon all the insulin and growth can make the internal organs grow. So, And then people say, don't. Yeah, I'm no doctor, but you always hear different theories on it. So I just think, you know, people need to calm down on their dosages. So like I said, I'm there telling them the truth about what I've done. They're like, oh, you're lying. I'm like, what reason do I have to lie? I'm honest about everything else. Why would I lie about gear use? I'd, I'd rather be honest about it so you don't have to go a thousand milligrams. Just take 200. And if it works, great. Stay at that. And I remember Boston Lloyd would always say, oh, that Lee's lying. But then later on, he discovered that all the gear he used and went back to smaller amounts, he got the same gains. But, you know, a little too late. You know, he's bugging his kidneys up by that point and shit. So that's just crazy the way people just think, more is better, more is better. If two is good, I'll take four. It'll be twice as good. It doesn't work that way. So, even yeah. like I said, even me taking small amounts, luckily I'm still here, but who knows? Even taking three to 400 could be damaging. You know, there's never really been anyone to do a study on bodybuilders over 20, 30 years who eat clean, train, take a bit of gear, then you get the ones who abuse. It'd be interesting to see, you know, but yeah. there's been a lot of guys around. Look, Arnold's still going. There's been guys from back in the day who, we know it took gear day training and stuff and it's still going, but lately we've just seen so many younger guys dropping dead, whether it be from too much gear, but even too when you get the peptides involved and SARMs involved, yeah. people are like, well, they're not steroids, I can take them, but really there's been no tests done on them, so maybe they could be causing problems because I'm sure people take too much. If it says take one of them, I'm sure they're taking four or five. So, And I remember like going to the gym and having um, guys who are, Taking, well, I don't know if they're taking GH, but they, they were definitely, you know, taking testosterone or mm -hmm. some, some PED. But they're saying, you know, oh, don't deadlift. You're going to get a thick waist from doing your deadlift. Oh, yeah, don't squat. You know, yeah. It's coming I from a person squat. who's got a thick waist <laughs> from, from their own undoing. And I think that there's a lot of messages out there. That, and I, this is what I think, whether people despise you or they love you, you know, talking talking your truth and your reality is something that a lot of this, I think this next generation really needs. They need more of the truth because there's so much garbage out yeah. there, isn't there? Well, that's the thing too. Like I said to people, okay, if you think I'm talking bullshit, I said, here's a simple thing to do. If you're taking 2,000 milligrams or 1,000 of this or 500, I said, once you finish your cycle, I said, come off for three or four months, clean out, yeah. do another cycle, but only take four or 500. I said, what do you got to lose, you know? It's either going to work or it's not going to work. If it, if it doesn't work, go back to using your stupid amounts. But I guarantee the small amounts will work. Yeah. I said, just try it. I said, what do you got to lose? Nothing. 